isolate the variable from the formula. In order to do this, we need to take everything that is not our variable row and move it over to the other side of the equal sign so that we can completely isolate row. In this problem, there is nothing we can do to eliminate answer choices, so we're just going to go right into solving. P equals P ATM plus row GH. So to start, let's get rid of this P ATM. P ATM is being added to row, so what we need to do is the opposite of addition, which is subtraction, and subtract P ATM from both sides of the equal sign. These P ATMs will cancel, leaving us with P minus P ATM equals row G H. Now very quickly we can look at our answer choices and see that only two match this order of P minus P ATM. That order is important. That would be answer choice A and answer choice D. So we can eliminate B and C. Now we can continue. Row is our variable we're trying to isolate, so we need to get rid of G and H. G and H are both being multiplied to P, so we can use opposite operations and divide both sides by G and H. When we do, these GHs will cancel, leaving us with P minus P ATM, all divided by GH, and that is equal to our isolated variable row, and that makes D our correct answer.